Hey there everyone, it's Val and welcome back to Tolkien Craft 2, The Labors of Valentine. Well, um, I did a lot of work on the village today and in fact to facilitate that work, uh, we made a new wand focus, uh, equal trade. Because we did a lot of road work. We were on the road crew today. Um, after looking at a couple of options, I ended up deciding on making the Tinker's Construct Brown Road. It does actually make you run a bit faster, although it, you can't really tell because I'm already fast. But I think it looks pretty cool. Um, let me just go up above and show you how it looks. So as you look at it, you can pro probably see that I did uh, some additional... I added some additional roads. Um, right over here we added a road going to this building here. I added a second story on this building actually by going down. So we have uh, a road coming down and around to the entrance to that um, new level there. Uh, totally changed where the original well was to make it much nicer since it was so because of the way the village uh, was created with this big high section and then this low the rest of it was all lower uh, this was really a kind of a bad area so I pretty much had to take the well out in order to make well a nice sort of smooth way to get up and down I did give them a new well however the one that they can't drown in and or get stuck in so Hopefully they'll appreciate that. <laughs> I moved this over a little bit uh, so that it worked a little better with this building here. And I also moved it up one level so this is no longer embedded in the ground and that way, well, they can't fall inside anymore, which is a good thing. Um, over here, I, well, you can see it kind of, I'm not, I'm still not sure about this. This kind of isn't working for me. So I, I may end up uh, moving the door over and rearranging what this side of the building looks like. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we did, uh, we ended up moving the door. This door used to be on this side over here and we moved it onto this side and then gave it a nice little path coming down. Uh, so this is the Flaxbeard's uh, building. And over here we added, again, a second story. Uh, so this is brand new area that wasn't here before, so we got a little room there. And then we moved the door that used to be there. We moved it onto this side so you can come in here. And as you may have noticed, we have uh, furnishings. That was what I did uh, the second pass. I went around the village adding tables and chairs and beds. Um, I also added this nice little path coming down here to the pool. Uh, oops, sorry, mouse is having issues today. Um, this is going to be turned into a garden. Uh, I'm not sure quite how it's going to look, but this I'm going to leave this intact. We might clean it up a bit and fix the fountain on this side so it it's uh, it's all nice again. Uh, it looks like there's some bricks missing around the edge, so we'll probably fix that up as well. You know, just nice to have some ancient architecture uh, that was here pre-existing to the the removal of or the uh, transfer of the town to this area, and I would like to incorporate that. Um, and so I'm not sure if I'm going to join these roads up here yet. I haven't really decided. We will see how it goes. Now, as for the, the actual furnishings, this one is one of the easier to do furnishings or houses because it had more room. So we, we, we have a couple living here, the uh, Linda and um, Phil the guards. So we gave them a nice double bed. Of course, they have a son, John, uh, who is still living here, who also decided to become a guard, by the way. And uh, so they have a nice uh, supper table. Uh, they still need a kitchen area, but we can work on that. And the actual wood that we're going to use for these things, I might change it out. This is sort of, uh, it, it's stuff that I had laying around uh, from the ward bags, and I figured I'd use them for now, but 
I will probably make another pass over the houses at some point and make them much nicer. This this is just so that they have some place to sleep and eat, you know, for the meantime. Um, yes, actually, Ethan, uh, the rather grumpy son of Edward and Cynthia the Librarian, we have moved him into the basement. This is him here, and he's decided to become a miner just like his dad. Uh, he's still, he, he's gotten kind of greedy as he's gotten older, but he's not quite as grumpy as he was, but he, he still has his moments. But in any case, we, whoop, mouse, and sticking, and whatnot, we moved him down here, and so he has his own bachelor pad down here, um, although I keep finding him everywhere else, but here, like the church, I have no idea why he fell asleep in the church, it's probably not a good thing, though. <laughs> the, when a priest finally moves into the town again I don't think he'll appreciate you sleeping in the church just so you know anyway oh speaking of the church I uh, since we actually added in that extra l level when we were um, fixing up the basement here so that we actually had a more of a nice church area down here we need to have an altar and whatnot but for the priest, hopefully so we can attract one to the town, we've set up a nice little study here. we still got to get some books. And up here, we have a very um, plain uh, monastic type of uh, cell, uh, like you would find in a monastery. You know, very simple. You have a bed, a bookshelf, and, of course, uh, a thermomicon. thermonomicon. Actually, let's put these on the bookshelf. Hmm, I don't know Apparently whoever was here before was a thaumaturge. But anyway, hopefully that'll attract a priest to the town. I guess we'll find out. Um, we did attract a, a new individual to the town, and I have no idea. Roy the guard, right here. He was just here today, so he moved in. Um, don't know. Must come from the nearby town over there. Yes, I, I didn't get a letter asking him to be transported here, which I've offered to people that would like to move. So he just decided to come on his own. And I'm hoping, since I've been working on the town and adding more rooms uh, and have furnished them now, that we might actually get more people moving in on their own without me having to go and uh, do recruiting. Right. <laughs> oh dear, I missed this room. Um... Hmm, indeed, this actually could fit a bed, couldn't it? All right, well, we'll we'll worry about this little one later. In any case, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of the current state of the town. Um, still needs a lot of work, but it's getting there. I think it's uh, it's starting starting to look like a decently looked after town. Oh, actually, I did did forget to show you one thing. Um, what I did, uh, the Magnum Torch is still here, and of course the uh, town uh, highlighter is here as well, right here. Uh, I'm just going to turn that off. Um, I showed that in um, in another video quite some time ago for Agrarian Skies, so if there's some interest in me talking about the village highlighter, I can talk about it again and, and show you how it works. But in the meantime, the Magnum Torch is hidden down here. Can I? Of course not. Darn it. Alright, anyway. So I've hidden it down here so it's not, you know, sitting out in plain view and uh, being annoying. But I'll also not forget where it is, I hope. Seeing as it's right here in the well. <laughs> and it is a functional well, by the way. Uh, this well is from Pam's Harvest Craft, and as I can show you, you can actually get water out of it. don't know if I can empty it in there. Nope, I've got water. <laughs> in any case, we're not going to have any villagers' deaths in there, which is what I was kind of worried about with the other, the other kind of well. They have a tendency to fall in there and bob around, etc., and it worries me. What is the attraction with this apiarists? What are you making with that honey? You must be making honey mead in there or something. I guess I'm going to have to build a tavern. 
obviously uh, that's become the impromptu tavern because everybody hangs out there. Everybody. <laughs> In any case, you guys, thank you very much for watching this tour. Um, kind of went on a little longer than I planned, but hey, that's the way it goes. I get talking and I can't shut up. In any case, you guys, I hope to see you in the stream sometime. Love to have you. Um, stream practically every day, so, you know, stop by, say hi, hang around, chat, have some coffee or tea or herbal tea if you don't like caffeine, something like that. Anyway, in any case, I hope to see you later. Y'all take care now. Bye.